Human Shaped Friends. We have another lovely watercolor time lapse for your viewing pleasure. And this time it is a destroying angel mushroom. Now I know in my last mushroom video, I said I'm not an expert on mushrooms because I'm not. And that if you want to know more, you should look into it because mushrooms are fascinating because they are. But in a very real way, this mushroom is very deadly. If you see it in the wild, don't touch it. Don't eat it. Don't let your pet eat it. Don't let your kid eat it. Just don't. Don't do it. Anyway. <laughs> Something that I remember, it's like one of those like childhood memories that you can't quite touch, but you know it's there and you know you've referenced it before and because you referenced it, it became corrupted. It's one of those memories of a book. I used to be a huge bookworm. I still am, but I'm an adult now and it's really hard to sit down and lose myself in a book. I can do it occasionally, but it's no longer that black hole of reading that I used to find myself in, which I miss. I bring this up. I haven't brought it up yet. <laughs> Sorry, uh, you can ignore the insanity. Anyway, I remember this passage in a book. It was a book. The main protagonist was an artist. And as punishment, uh, they had to go to after school art lessons where they describe making something white, recreating a single egg that is on a white surface. And they don't have any white colored pencils. Because I think they were colored pencils. It might have been paints. It's been a hot minute. And their confusion in this exercise. And then the art teacher just comes over and is like, I don't see white. I see these colors reflected here. I see this depth here. I see this here. If you truly only see white, then you need to open your eyes. And that is something that stuck with me. I don't remember the name of this book. If you know the name of this book, please put it down in my comments. That section had an impact. What kind of impact? I am using watercolors to paint a white mushroom. <laughs> Because it's not white. It is reflected in the nature that is around it. There's the dirt on it, there's the grime on it, there's a little bit of the sky. Nothing is ever truly one thing. And that is something that I love being able to express with my paints. Because sometimes I just want the thing to be a thing. And other times I want whatever it is that I'm rendering to be that beautiful amalgamation of its surroundings, of its past. I find that stuff to be fascinating and beautiful. Because I do. Because I'm me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I did want to apologize uh, in this recording. Every now and then my video just goes completely out of, not sync, sync is not the word, focus. Focus is the word. It goes out of focus and goes back into focus and back out of focus. I don't know why, but it does. It's a learning curve. This is my learning curve. Say hello to the learning curve. Anyway, back to painting things that are white. I'm a big believer in highlights, especially stark white ones. I think they can make things beautiful. But other than that, I don't know how I feel about things just being white. I, I talked in a previous video about the paralysis of a white page, and that is something that I do have. You know, it's why I'm a big believer in just get something down. Sometimes that white page is endless possibility and beauty, and other times that white page is engulfing and terror. But that could also just be me. Again, I am not everyone and everyone is not me. Now back to this book. <laughs> she, I think it was she, again, it's been a really long time. The protagonist of this book had been paid by her school chums to draw them into their own fanfic. 
and I was so jealous. I was never paid to draw people into their own fanfics, probably because I don't show people my fanfic drawings. <laughs> Maybe you'll see them. Maybe you won't. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you like my white mushroom. Oh no, this recording is too long. Bye!